Hello and welcome to Container Bytes. My name is Mofi. I'm a developer advocate at Google, focusing on running AI workload on Kubernetes. And I'm Ali. I'm a solutions architect at Google, and I partner with Mofi in helping our customers build AI platforms on Google Cloud. In this video, we're going to showcase how to deploy Gemma open models in GKE using text generation inference from Hugging Face. <laughs> Gemma is a family of lightweight open models that are built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models. In this release of Gemma, you'll find both the 2 billion parameter version and the 7 billion parameter version with pre-trained checkpoints ready to fine tune and instruction tune checkpoints that are ready for chat. Text Generation Inference, or TGI for short, is a toolkit for deploying and serving large language models. TGI provides a web server with simple API and capabilities of sharding your model across multiple GPUs. We also have an AIML landing page on GK that gives you access to all the different tutorials and docs that you need to get started on running AIML workload on GKE. As part of this Gemma release, we created four new tutorials for you showcasing TGI, VLLM, NVIDIA Triton and TensorID LLM, and SaxML. To get access to the Gemma models in Hugging Face, you will need to visit this page, choose one of the models. In this case, we're going to do Gemma 7 billion instruction tune model. And you will have to sign a consent form to get access to this model. I already have access to this. I already have access to this model, so I will go ahead and create a new Hugging Face token and save it for later use. and make sure you give it read permission. If you want to follow along with this demo in your own Google Cloud environment, you'll find the link to the documentation in the video description below. To get started, go ahead and export your environment variables. You want to set your project where you have GPU quota available, the region where you have that GPU quota, name of the cluster, and your hugging base token. Next, we create a GKE autopilot cluster using the gcloud command. After a while, we'll see the cluster is running. Next. Let's go ahead and deploy TGI. What we have here is a deployment called TGI-Gemma-Deployment. We are going to have one replica. We have this image that is publicly available for you to use. Here we set our request and limits. We have requested for two NVIDIA GPUs, in this case, L4 GPUs, which has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. The model we are serving today is not quantized. That's why we're going to need two GPUs. To serve the model across two GPU, we set the number of shard to also equal to two. We set our model ID to the instruction tune model of Gemma 7 billion. We'll also need the Hugging Face Hub token, which comes from HF Secret, which we'll create now. Here, we create a Kubernetes secret using the HF token that we had exported before. Okay. In our node selector, we want to select node that has the tag NVIDIA L4 in them. Then we have a service called LLM service, which exposes the TGI deployment on port 8000. We apply the deployment with kube control apply dash F TGI 7 billion it.yaml. Here, as our pod is pending deployment, we can see that autopilot is spinning up a new node with the requirements that we had in our request and limit. Once we see the pod is running, we can check the process of the pod starting up by checking the log. You can check the log with cube control logs dash f dash l app equals to gemma dash server. Once we see this environment variable line, our pod is ready to serve requests. To interact with Gemma, let's go ahead and open up a port forward to the LLM service running on the GKE cluster. Next, we're going to use curl to send a prompt to Gemma, and Gemma responds. The curl example shows the HTTP request and response syntax for TGI. But since we deployed an instruction tuned version of Gemma, it'd be interesting to chat with it. So let's deploy Gradio. We have a Gradio deployment. We define the path to our large language model serving internally in our cluster. We give it the name of whatever serving engineer you're using, in this case, TGI, and the user prompt and system prompt format. We also create a service which will have a load balancer so that we can access the chat from public internet. And our Gradio service is already up and running. We wait until the load balancer external IP is created. We can visit this IP in our browser and we're presented with a Gradio interface. Here we have a chatbot interface that we can use to interact with Gemma. 
can you give me a recipe for an apple pie? And after a few seconds, we will get an ingredients list and also step-by-step -step instruction on how to create an apple pie. In Gradio, we can also change some of the additional inputs like temperature, top P, and max tokens to modify and get different outputs. In this video, we covered how to deploy Gemma on GKE. If you want to follow along in your own Google Cloud project and deploy Gemma on your GKE cluster, you'll find the links to all the guides in the video description below.